as that little one gets in there. Game Rover vehicle going to move a bit as well, so again we might get some movement. See a couple of the smaller heads popping up. are more relaxed with the game drive vehicle now sometimes it's not the case at all but other times especially when they're a bit edgy they seem to be a little bit more aware of us Aubrey and I'm just going to come past us here Let's see the game drive going through he's also a character by himself one of the roads here named Aubrey Pretty lazy. I see one or two lions. A little bit of movement. One lioness in the back. They're just licking a pause a little bit. That's something that quite often is a prelude to them getting moving. But judging from the general behavior, I'd say probably at least another half an hour or more before there's going to be any major movements, if not, not longer, maybe only towards sunset. Most of them happy to just take it easy and digest all that food. Amazing lions can eat up to about 20% of their own body weight. So if you take it, a big male lion, well, let's say averagely weighted or average size male of about 5-6 years old can weigh around 200 kilograms. It means they can eat 40 kilograms. It's almost 90 pounds of meat at one go. So you can imagine after that you don't want to be running around too much. So take it easy and digest all that food. One cub is just moving towards the other group now. There's one lying there already. There might be a little bit of interaction between the two. Maybe just walking up and rubbing the face or greeting. Let's just see what they do. Uh, not much. <laughs> Flopping down. Another youngster heading over as well. Let's see, maybe those two interact a bit. <laughs> so deciding he's going to try and hunt one of his cousins. They could even be from the same litter, they're about the same size. So, one of the other things with lions breeding is they normally try and, I'm not sure if it's necessary, conscious decision, but they have a lot of the cubs relatively uh, or in the same time frame relative to each other so within a few months you might have two or three or four females having offspring quite a few benefits to that one is that uh, different females are lactating at the same time they do allosuckling so it means if 
one female gets injured or is missing for a few days, then the other females could actually give milk or give food to those youngsters. He said, sorry to interrupt, just uh, look at one little cub just cruising around here by himself. A little bit more curious about the world. I thought he was going to head over to the car. Deciding not to go too far from the group. Even lions step in thorns. So there's a benefit in raising the youngsters. And also, you don't want to spread it out too far because inevitably, after a few years, new males will take over the pride. So if you could have a whole batch of different litters or a whole batch of cubs all successfully make it soon after new males join the, join the pride, then there's a good chance that they'll make it to two years old or so, which is about the age they need to get to to survive. And then sort of social benefits or secondary benefits is just that you've got lots of, you've got lots of little playmates, lots of other little lions to play around with and mess around with. Give Solly an update quickly. Afternoon, Solly, how are you? Uh, fantastic, Umfo. I'm just seeing the Zangala and those small mumping pants for the first time. Um, they're still lowering just on the eastern side of Gallagher shortcut, about 80 meters north from the bomber. Because you're going to come to the Angola, it's just myself and Aubrey, I can make space for everyone. Okay, good. Just call me when you turn on to Gallagher Shortcut. <laughs> the curious one. I didn't call him for. Great. We can spend some more time here. guys moving. I'd like to see there in the back. Difficult to see. Hopefully we can get a bit of a look at it. One of those small cubs. Literally so small that when once they lie down in the grass they as you can see they disappear. A couple of these younger lions now getting a little bit restless thing for young animals, whether it's human or mammal, any kind of mammal, lions, baboons, antelopes. Ah, oh, fantastic, we're going to see more of these little ones. Even at this age already they'll be playing a bit, we'll see the one in the back is stalking the other one, hopefully you're going to pounce on it just now. In this young age already the instinctive urge to hunt and to stalk is there, but also it's play, obviously. I think it's something we forget sometimes as humans, but we're also mammals. A lot of children's playing is often things that we'll need as we grow into adulthood, so it's just a good way to practice your coordination, improve your coordination, get your muscles stronger, also learn and perfect certain techniques you'll need when you're older. In the case of lions, hunting is a very important part of that. Yeah, there we go. Little pounce. <laughs> Not quite ready to catch a buffalo yet, but certainly good enough to play with your brother or sister. <laughs> 